please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, dreamers. I am so excited because I finally used Microsoft Bing Image Creator and I'm about to show you exactly what I did. So I created these images. Look how adorable they are. I'm going to show you exactly how to sign up for it for the first time as well as what prompts and everything that you can use. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the video hey now it's your girl shanita nicole and welcome to do dream one if you're new if you're already a dreamer welcome welcome back y'all welcome back welcome welcome back y'all welcome back okay you guys first things first look how cute these images are i've been playing with it for like about the last hour it's going to show me exactly how much in a second so let me explain what i'm learning this is this is my first time doing it, so I'm really excited. This is Microsoft Bing. I'm going to show you how to set up from the beginning right now. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how you can set up for it. Okay, so you're going to search Microsoft Bing Image Creator in whatever search engine that you use and then click the link and this is what will populate. Under Create Images from Words with AI, type exactly what you want it to create i'm going to go over this prompt later but that's what it's called so you type that prompt in as specific as you want i mean get everything that you want out so you can get the image that you want then you're going to select join and create there it will populate this where you can sign in or you can create an account one or the two, whichever one works best for you. Once you do that, it's going to take you directly to this page. We're saying, please wait, your images are currently in progress. Okay, so it's going to generate that at the top. You'll see the prompt that you provided a yellow circle with a lightning ball, and then it'll say 15. That is how many images or prompts you'll be able to get per day. And then the image will load. Y'all look at this. It's so cute. It says, you did it. How was your first solo creation? Don't worry if it's not exactly what you expected. Surprises are part of the process and joy of creating. Y'all, this is so cute. So I'm going to go exactly into what prompt I use later on. So you can use something similar if you like it but that is my first time ever creating an AI prompt or image with Bing okay so once I did that it was on and popping and I tried to create some more and yeah so let me explain that okay so now you're all set up and now you want to create I showed you how you put those first prompts in etc so here is what I'm looking at right now I am looking at where I put my prompt right here, okay? African American brown skinned woman at her desk typing on her gold laptop with long black hair, brown eyes, a pink shirt that says, we'll go into that later. This is the prompt. This right here says you can get uh, boost. So it says create images more quickly with boost. If you run out, image generation may take longer, okay? Right here, when it first started, it had 15. So I utilized a few of those and then we're going to press create once we type in the prompts or you could press surprise me and let it do what it does. Here is the explore ideas where it shows I'm assuming other people who possibly have made these or the AI person themselves. They have frequently asked questions. Okay, but we're going to go back to creations. Under creations, I'm going to show you my first one ever. Okay, it shows in four squares here. I'm going to select the first one and now it populates what I typed. African American brown skinned woman at her desk typing on her gold laptop with long black hair, brown eyes, a pink shirt that says Queen Dreamer in gold with gold hoop ear. It's supposed to say earrings, y'all. It figured it out. I don't know it what Uranus is. <laughs> earrings. Make it realistic and a notebook on her desk and gold coffee mug. This was my first time doing it. Like I said, I've been playing with it about an hour and they're not playing with me because they go tell me how long it says one hour ago 
It shows designer 1024 by 1024 JPEG one hour ago. I can share this, I can save it, I can download it, or I can customize it. Let me show you what happens when I customize it. It goes into the Microsoft Designer. I did not play with this yet, but it shows AI tools. If you want to generate a race, you want to remove the background, you want to blur the background. It provides filters. It has templates. I literally didn't go into all this yet. You can adjust it, replace, remove background, crop, some more options, and then it gives new ideas. These are super cute. Oh, this is adorable. Look at that. You could play around with it. Look at these templates. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, game changer, guys. So, like I said, I have not played with this yet, but let's go back to it. So, it shows all four of the images that I created. These are so cute. Now, AI does what it does. It added the smoke. It has that little, I don't know what this is right here. This is, maybe this is their watermark. I'm not sure. I did notice once I downloaded the image, that little image right there, it disappeared. So the watermark, et cetera, disappeared. It has the background photos. Now I could possibly change this and change the photos that are in the background. I love the crown and the heart for the laptop. Baby, so cute. Look at her nails they they did this okay she's super adorable they added a crown y'all know i did not say that because it says what i put here but it just played around with it and she looks like a barbie these are just adorable all right these were my very first ones and i think they turned out so cute and then i refreshed the page and it generated more i didn't press it but it generated more using that same prompt here and these are absolutely beautiful. They did put the make it realistic on here, added a face there, some design on the mug or the cup, but they figured all types of things, you see that? So I'm sure I could update it to tell them to change the background if I would like. Oh, she is flawless, look at her hair. But yeah, so these were my images and I think they're adorable. These were my first eight sets. And then I changed my prompt, okay? I said African-American brown skin woman with black braids standing in front of her desk with a pink shirt that says do dream on and gold with dark denim jeans and brown heel boots, heel boots that comes to her knees with gold hoop earrings and her hand on her hip. On the desk is a gold laptop, gold mug, a heat press machine and a cricket on the wall, there's a pegboard and shelves with t-shirts on them and a Racoma embroidery machine in the corner of the room. Now, they didn't do all those things. However, they have the majority of it. Maybe if I would have put 10 needle machine, that would have helped. Maybe if I was a little more specific, I could possibly even tell them what color shirts I want on the back, uh, what design I want or wordings I want, etc. But I think she is fly so beautiful these turned out absolutely gorgeous but the more detail the more you'll get they got kind of the the gist of it and then sis is giving all the attitude i love it the boots not to the knee but she's just in her office so they probably knew better than me on that one <laughs> i was just playing around with it but i think these are amazing yes pose for the clamor click click sis is not playing what's this stuff at the bottom anywho this is so cute i love how they even added hats they was doing a thing okay give it to me sis love it all right i am loving these images like i said you can play around with it let them know no photos in the background what you want on the t-shirts plain t-shirts uh folded t-shirts i'm gonna try one with folded t-shirts on shelves some hanging up you know you can play around with the words to get what you want all right and what i did here was i used the same prop except prompt except i said with long black hair instead of the braids and i'm loving these designs of the do dream one they're literally giving me inspiration of how i can make some more shirts because i mean this is adorable okay I think this is wonderful. It's very simple, easy to use. These ladies are beautiful. And I love how they're showing up for the melanin. 
you know those that get it get it they are giving these girls oh everything they look absolutely beautiful okay so i also did another prompt and this one was african-american woman with long black hair gold hoop earrings a white shirt with pink writing that says queen dreamer dark denim jeans legs folded on the floor of it's supposed to be of her office she's packaging up orders to mail so they came through look at these shirts oh so adorable look at their hair stop playing laid honey omg I absolutely love it and I didn't use I didn't say shoes on purpose and see what happened and they tell you how long ago I made these so for this one I used the same prompt except I said to put gold font on the shirt so now it's gold font look at her shoes OMG just adorable oh I love it you guys <sighs> these are so cute so I'm going to do one more with you guys because I want you guys to see it live. I did these earlier. So we're going to think of one right now. Well, I'm going to think of one right now. So as I press create and it's creating, you see this load button here, the less of these, like they said, it goes a little bit slower because the other ones went faster, but yes, honey, look at her. Stop playing. She is so cute. And it says African-American woman, long black hair, gold hoop earrings, white shirt that says do dream on and gold and dark denim jeans, white gym shoes, reading a book on the pink couch with the glass and gold end table with the gold coffee mug. Y'all, this look like my end table. Okay, that's creeping me out a little bit. And my couch a little bit too. <laughs> yes, honey. Too cute. And I'm always reading me a good book. Y'all, that look just like my end table almost. See, I ain't say with the socks, and that's a little off-white, but that's okay. Look how they switching it up. They done added stuff in the back. So adorable. Okay, y'all. I'm absolutely in love with this. This is super duper cute. Stop playing. I could have even put the color of the book. So let's see. And what I what um I believe is that every day you get 15 more prompts. So you unless you purchase more, um I think, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that for today or at least for right now. If you guys have any prompts that you may want me to use, I may go live with you guys if you want and we can go live and go over prompts. But I think these are super duper cute. Ask me any questions. Like I said, I'm just learning it with you. But I'm about to download every single last one of these. Because these are the bomb.com. Alright y'all. So that's all I have for right now. The more we play around with it. The more we learn. Let me know. Let me know down in the description if you guys want me to go live and we can play with it together. You guys give me prompts for ideas, etc. But I'm super duper excited about this. And that's a wrap.
please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.